How you doing? Thanks for coming. In today's video, we're checking out some accessories for the Apple Watch. Last week, we decked out the Apple Watch Ultra. Now let's go ahead and primarily focus for the Apple Watch Series 9 or older Apple Watches. So I believe the Series 4 and Series 9, these accessories should be compatible on those devices. And this time we're doing it differently because we are live on YouTube. So if you're a part of the stream, thanks for joining and feel free to comment in the live chat section what accessories we should be looking at. So let's go ahead and hop on Amazon and peruse the Etherwebs. Some interesting accessories. This wireless stand is kind of cool. Yeah, this one definitely got my interest. I just, the only concern I have was this one is the fact that it's a sponsor. Like manufacturers typically would just pay out of pocket just to promote these things. And sometimes they end up being garbage. Oh, and there's also a 30% off coupon code. So $29 comes available in the other colors too. Apply 30% off. But this one definitely looks interesting. Uh, I'm going to add this to cart because apparently it's about to end. You guys feel free to add this as well. And here it is. Box. Very, very, very simple. And I know this is the improper way to unbox this, but we're opening it up this way. And it's good to know that the power adapter is provided and it is actually using a USB-C. Let's see, this is a 20 watt output, so you may want to consider upgrading it, but it should be enough to fast charge your iPhone if you leave it by itself. So it does come mostly pre-assembled, which is great. And it's pretty small. Here's a uh, iPhone 15 Pro as a comparison. It's barely taller than the iPhone itself. This is actually aluminum, AirPods charger, Apple Watch charger, and this is indeed MagSafe. USB-C cable is provided. So let's go plug in this puppy and that's basically all that's included out of the box. Which I gotta say for the price what you got this for, it's not bad. It's not a grippy texture, but this portion where the MagSafe is, is grippy. So if we put it all together, put our Apple Watch here, there's LED feedback right there on what's being charged. Our MagSafe supported wireless charging, AirPods charging. Yeah, both of these two LED indicators right here are indeed illuminating and there is a grippy texture that prevents this from easily sliding. And then if I test this out, yeah, if you have AirPods Pro second generation, you should be able to uh, charge your AirPods. It gets an approval. It's not, ooh, this is actually adjustable too. Look at this, this portion, you could actually move your Apple, your Apple Watch, I mean your iPhone. So if you're like watching something, of course, if you have Apple nightstand enabled, you could use this as a uh, alarm clock. Not bad, yeah, definitely does get an approval. So I own a handful of these, uh, but this one's tempered glass protector for the iPhone. I own the plastic ones and the thing I hate about these ones is the fact that when you look closely, there's a bunch of like little dots on the screen. It just doesn't look good. But this one's quite interesting since it says it's using tempered glass instead of a plastic. And let's see what color choice they got. You could really change the look of your Apple Watch. This one looks like that midnight blue color, like the Series 6 once was available. Eh, I managed this one. It's $6.59 at the cart. So here it is. Uh, it came like this, partially open, and uh, came with two at least. And of course you just unpeel and install on your compatible Apple Watch. So this is a series eight, I mean series nine. And let's just quickly follow the in-screen instructions and uh, prep our Apple Watch for the install. And uh, this should simply just peel off. So I'm not sure about this one. I think I accidentally broke that one. Try this one. Okay, now this one got the seal. Wow, we accidentally ordered a 41 millimeter. So this is the 41 millimeter. I'm sure there's a 45 millimeter also available. Let me switch Apple watches. Good thing we have one on standby. And here it is. And a complaint that I have is if we zoom in, take my word for it, but there's a bunch of those little small dots. There's a lot of small dots on the screen. And if we do the key tests, it left some marks, but it's actually doing a good job on protecting the display. But this honestly feels generic. It is tempered glass, which is nice. I mean, for the price, 
it's not a bad case but it's very generic like i literally own like let me grab them real quick like here's this one from a different brand or seller on amazon just this was more squared up it's the exact same product to be honest also has a bunch of little small little dots on the screen if we attach it onto the series 9 apple watch i mean this one to me looks better because actually it does change the look of the apple watch buttons responsive microphone cutouts clear it just it doesn't do the uh edge to edge technology that apple was so proud to unveil that's the con with these type of screen protectors it like blocks that and it also gives this cheap effect on your apple watch so it works if you need something that's cheap and inexpensive to protect your watch this is definitely a buy but regardless on which brand you go with they're always going to be the exact same quality now if you're enjoying this live stream or video make sure to leave that like button a like because that is a great way for you to train the youtube algorithm to work for you you see youtube will typically recommend videos they want you to actually watch but by hitting that like button you train the algorithm to work for you instead of vice versa and it also helps out the channel so make sure to do that now let's get back into it do they have amazon oh here's the uh charger i was talking about holy cow i didn't realize it was 110 <laughs> so what i understand is uh i don't think this is rechargeable the benefits of this one is it's lightweight and compact it's really expensive comes in black and white this one better be worth it it's the most expensive where we added that one a cart and here it is the most expensive product so far so at least this one actually comes with the provided anchor power adapter and this is the she 2 wireless charging second generation which means basically this will charge as quickly like the official MagSafe charger from Apple. So this fairly recently just came out. It was marketed all over like tech YouTube channels. I myself was exposed to this, but this is the one that I saw at CES. And this is legit pretty small. Look, for comparison references, here's an iPhone 15 Pro. It is half of the size of that and almost tr three times thicker. So it's really compact when it's folded down in it's a small compact form and of course this opens up and then now you have your phone to be charged here a wireless charger for your airpods or other wireless charging earbuds you may use and your puck right here for the apple watch and below here these are vents that are open and the magsafe portion this part is cold to touch so it makes me believe this acts like a heat shield the usb-c ports on the side unfortunately but it does provide a uh, l angle usb-c cable so you can actually low-key like have it stealthily placed they did this probably to make room for this and the provided power adapter is this one by anchor and this is a 20 watt power adapter which is kind of disappointing I, I was expecting that to at least come with like a 45 but then simply plugs in on the side led feedback to make sure power is engaged place your iphone on like so starts magsafe charging you can flip it landscape too if you like and then when it starts charging give you feedback right here you can place the airpods it's like so and an apple watch which is not charging my apple watch okay i'm not gonna lie this cable is actually getting in my way pretty badly and it's not charging my apple watch let me try a different apple watch i doubt that's the issue hmm it's not charging my apple watch uh, mine might just be defected i don't know why it continues to flash like that try it again oh now it's actually not blinking let me plug it in now now okay now i believe it's charging my apple watch yes it's charging my apple watch i don't know why, why i wasn't charging earlier and then the airpods if i place it here that's charging all of this is charging all right there we go now we're cooking so this isn't bad it's super compact and small it's just i don't recommend this being used for like a nightstand type of thing because this wire definitely is irritating and it doesn't have like a grippy texture underneath so you may want to get creative and put like a three in adhesive or velcro or something that you put like on top so it doesn't slide around if you're like me who prefer their items their chargers to stay put once they're set especially when you're always using magnets to align everything up it's going to move it out out of its original spot this is definitely for traveling use so for that i will definitely recommend it 
but for a nightstand use for a quarter of the price i'll recommend that first product we featured that one worked perfectly fine it may not charge as quickly compared to qi wireless charging 2 for your iphone but overnight it's guaranteed to be charged every single night when you go to sleep so that doesn't really speed doesn't really matter here so with that feedback i'm sure you can make the decision if this is something for you or not is this a speaker no it's not a speaker but this is kind of cool looking okay so your iphone attaches here and then these things open up 30 watts that's good rgb lights it's small and compact so you could close the sides or have them open and when they're open i wonder hold on let me double yeah when they're open you could use it to charge your apple watch as well as airpods okay so here's the thing it's not magsafe certified what it is is just a dual core uh coil for wireless charging capabilities but has magnets on the side to line up your magsafe iphone this is how they were able to avoid the magsafe certified fee fee from apple which i'm fine with if it works and it doesn't overheat the phone this might this may be an excellent product especially if it's like a new company and the fact that it's getting these many reviews although they do have a ton of influencers reviewing it okay so i maybe it's a little bit too glossy uh okay so this is the thing this was an older product and then the manufacturer decided to discontinue their old product and replace it with this one so they could maintain their perfect star rating they currently had. I hate when they do this. But reviews seem to be positive. This is a point in this AirPod charger, charging performance. And here's the package. Now I gotta say, the package looks luxurious. That doesn't look bad at all. It looks super sci-fi too. And the specs are not that bad. Output 10 watts, a bit slower side. So again, wireless charging generation one speeds. Output 2.5 for the Apple Watch, which is appropriate. Three watts for the AirPods. All right, let's open it and see. Compared to the previous charger, this one isn't a bad price either. And I like the fact that a charger is included. Just to draw back into USB-A. Output doesn't say, but the most is a three watt, three amp, I'm sorry. So uh, that doesn't seem to be too powerful, but the ball, okay. So it looks cheap. <laughs> it looks cheap, it feels cheap. Uh, yeah, now I'm starting to see where all the money went to the design. I can't tell if this is aluminum. I'm gonna take a knife real quick and see what happens. Uh, no, this is not aluminum or anything. It's that like thick chrome material that they will typically find like overlaid on plastic. So it's cheap, but for the asking price, it could be worth it. And these sides simply just fold down. They're not speakers, but there is indicators of the AirPods, even though it's facing the wrong way. And then the Apple Watch goes right here and your iPhone goes right here. Let me plug this thing in and let's see how it goes. So the good news is this does take USB-C. So if you like to upgrade this with a USB-C power adapter, you, you can. I'm not sure if it will actually up the wattage still to charge your device quicker. Uh, something tells me based off everything we're seeing probably not but it does illuminate on the side and it does have a nice illumination glow so if we get, put our apple watch down the magnets on that it's pretty strong and we put our airpods in that's charging and if we take our iphone that's charged so it's pretty satisfying and it does have rgb lights too which you can just toggle between pressing this little touch button up here so aesthetically it looks nice. This will actually look super nice. I bet you at night it looks amazing. Here's a little video on how that look like. Uh, for its asking price, oh, it even gives you LED feedback on the charging. Never mind. No, it doesn't. It just swaps between different RGB colors. So it's not consistent with the uh, RGB rainbow mode, I'll call it. Within a minute or two, it's going to switch between different colors unexpectedly. Like we're back at red. So yeah. Uh, the RGB side doesn't allow you to personalize it or stay consistent in one mode. It will cycle between this, apparently. But it's definitely small. It looks nice. And for its affordability, I would personally recommend this. I'm actually surprised. Aside from the quality materials and stuff. But again, once you set this, you're going to forget it. You're not going to touch this thing on a daily basis. And if you like to travel with it, I think it's pretty compact and small to the point where it's definitely as easy to throw it in your like luggage and travel with it. So since it doesn't cost like an arm and a leg, 
like some other ones. I think this is a good buy. Just unfortunately, it's not gonna charge your device quick. But again, every day, six to eight hour sleep, your device should be properly charged the next morning. So because of that, I'm recommending this. I think this is a good buy for its value. Oh, I see, this one has a built-in cable. 136 reviews, that's not bad. 1200 milliamp. They got a few video reviews too. This one's kind of cute. What does the most recent comments or reviews have to say? Cool, perfect, game changer. Is it released? Just like less than six months ago? What's the release date on this? September 1st. I may just add this one to cart, just since it's so new. If it deserves spotlight, it will get spotlight if I'm impressed. Okay, I'm adding this one to cart. And here we have it. Very anchor-like themed, which is quite interesting. And here it is. Uh, this is not bad surprisingly this is not bad the feel is not bad it's sturdy and i also like the fact that this cable can actually act like a carabiner so it's easy to attach on like on the back portion of your backpack or something like that and i'm assuming that yeah this uh, simply pulls out and gives you exposure to the usb-c port right here as well not sure what that is there for but i have an idea if it works like how i'm, I'm thinking and you simply just tap show you the led stats so this is about 50 percent charge there is actually three bars right here which is quite lovely i like the fact that they're available in two colors and charging an apple watch ultra charges immediately this is not bad again i can put this like on the back porch of my backpack but let me test something out real quick i want to see if i could charge an iphone with this no okay uh I don't think you, this is supposed to go in there. I thought you could get juice out of this to charge other devices. That would have been cool, but it doesn't look like it. But if that's the case, I mean, I could probably just do this. Take an iPhone 15 that has USB-C and see if I could charge it this way. It does not. But what is happening is my phone is charging the little charger. So this is the one do-it-all charger port, I guess, for this device. So you simply plug it in directly to a power wall or your iPhone. You can charge this thing on the go. Unfortunately, this port doesn't do anything. I thought I could plug it into... Okay, so the official one from Apple, it's much more narrower. It clicks in. If I plug it in, it does not charge my device. Okay, so yeah... It... This is just a blank one, just to just to hold the uh, USB-C cable for it. It doesn't do anything. But for charging your Apple Watch, as well as being able to quickly be charged it's by itself using its own cable, compared to the generic ones that we've been seeing on Amazon, this is not bad. 1200 milliamp per hour battery, that's more than enough to sh charge your Apple Watch more than once easily, especially an Apple Watch Ultra, and enough juice to charge like an, a Series 9 or an SE multiple times before you have to actually worry about charging this thing. So for that, this is definitely worth its asking price. It's stylish, it's sleek, and it's cleverly engineered compared to, again, other generic ones we've been seeing on this platform lately. Like when it comes to cases, it got to the point where everybody makes the same case. Oh, this one's kind of interesting because this has the privacy screen protector. So others can't see your display, only you can. The user, fall bumper, it's tempered glass. That is pretty cool. Uh, it's 10 bucks. All right, I'm gonna add this to car as a potential. And here it is. And it looks exactly the same like that previous case we were just testing. See, this is what I mean. I think they're just drop shipping these on Amazon at this point. It literally looks like it came out of the same factory and they're both owned by the same different seller, I'm sorry. So yeah, that just should tell us something. Again, same exact material, well, design I should say, just not clear. This one has like a matte, grippy, black texture. The transparency definitely does work. I mean, not transparency, privacy definitely does work as you're seeing right here. So if we attach this to my Series 9 Apple Watch, it really does change the look of the Apple Watch. Oh, and insulation is very similar to the other one. You simply peel and then this, it's not sticky. I don't know why they give us the, those wipes to clean up the screen. I guess it's just to clean up the screen in general and make sure you don't have fingerprints if you're about that but you could just take a microfiber cloth and clean it up but here it is in action i like it i actually do like this actually because this allows you to have the freedom to you know take it off when you don't need it and then put it on when you feel like it for example whenever i'm going out on a date i really don't want like a privacy screen protector it's just it could just send the wrong signals 
So the fact that this isn't a permanent screen protector and I could just remove it whenever I want to instead of install it and I was like, well, now that it's installed, I can't take it off anymore unless I want to buy a new screen protector entirely. Although I, the manufacturer is sketchy, this being a dropship looking like a dropship item, but the fact that it has its ability to protect your device and also give you privacy whenever you want to. And let me increase the brightness real quick. But well, what I was gonna say, okay, it's not really responsive. <laughs> Sorry, you can't see that very well. There we go, max brightness. This is how it looks like a max brightness. So it definitely does alter the max brightness of your Apple Watch, so just keep that in mind. Responsive wise, it's not very responsive. I was gonna give it a good rating, but the fact that it's responsive at times, not all the time, definitely will give me headaches over time. So I, I, I'm not gonna recommend this, but yeah, this is, this is horrible. I can't do that. I mean, I could use the digital crown, but if I look closely, so again, because of this, I'm not gonna recommend it, but I could definitely see people wanting this just for the privacy removal capability without buying, again, a new screen protector. So there you go, that's my final verdict. Uh, disguise your existing Apple Watch into an Apple Watch Ultra. Should we add this? It has the privacy screen protector, it's $13. These are ugly. It even has a digital crown cover too and a fake action button on the side. Yeah, there's no button back on the side here. Yeah, we're gonna add this on the cards. And here is that abomination, and no, this does not look like a dropship item. At least I hope so far. This is my first time opening one of these. Out of the box, here it is. I can't believe I'm doing this. So, first thing first, you could tell this is fake out of the box, because here is an actual real Apple Watch Ultra. And what sets it apart is the tone of the titanium body. It does somewhat match it, but it doesn't have the right reflection at the right time, if that makes sense. You can see the imperfection that plastic typically will leave, especially like right here. I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but there's like a plastic line molding, but it's pretty close in terms of design wise. The action button is also a little bit darker than the actual real one, unfortunately. And it looks like it simply just goes on like a normal over the case one that we've been featuring earlier and it simply peels off. There's a bunch of micro dots in there. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but that's gonna be annoying for me because I love the OLED display quality that the Apple Watch can deliver. Seeing it being like destroyed by a bunch of micro dots definitely does ruin the immersion. Of course, by these using these type of cases, you lose the edge to edge display capability that the Series 9 has to offer. And fitting it on, this is how it looks like. Seems better responsive than the other one, but not as responsive you're seeing right here. I have to really press on it. There's a noticeable gaps on the edge, so I believe that's causing the tapping issues. And they give you three digital crowns, so I'm assuming they're prevent they're assuming that you're gonna lose one. So at least you have a replacement so you're not entirely mad or upset. And then this simply just unpeels and it's sticky and you just connect it to your existing digital crown and there you go now we have a clone apple watch ultra and here it is comparing it against an actual real apple watch ultra really knows about which one's fake and which was real uh, and the digital crown doesn't really feel satisfying to use it's plastic it's like sheep plastic you expect to find like on a on a toy that you bought from the dollar store no it's and it's not really responsive so you lose responsiveness you lose the nice aluminum body feel and you lose the edge to edge display. I, I don't recommend this. Uh, if you're trying to get an Apple Watch Ultra, save money for an Apple Watch Ultra, but please just don't do this. It, it just ruins your whole Apple Watch experience and will just give you headaches. If I went throughout one day with this, I, I'm personally gonna be already upset and angry. These magnetic ones were really cool. I miss these. I believe Apple discontinued them because they were leather. Like they're always a perfect fit. This one has a ton of good reviews. 10% off coupon code too. Easy to install, comfortable, cheap alternative. By far, yeah, I believe when Apple was selling this, it was like $100. This is just 20 bucks. And they come in a bunch of colors. You know, let's add this one. This one definitely is going to our cart. So unfortunately, it's about to be one week now and that Apple Watch ban has been delayed multiple times to the point where I'm just gonna move on without it. So unfortunately, I was unable to test that. Uh, I don't know, it just never got delivered. It's so annoying. It was so frustrating. I was actually looking forward to that watch, man. Next product. Let's add one more to make it an even 10. Let's see, 
If you guys have any suggestions for accessories you want to check out, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. Ooh, the solo loop bands. That's a good suggestion. Here it is. So 10% off coupon. Come in variety of different colors. I'm honestly probably just going to stick with black. Just so it matches well with like anything I wear. I'm definitely going to have to print this out and measure this. But I'm going to add this one to cart. And here is this band. And uh, I'm personally palming my head. <laughs> Due to the fact that, look at the package. This is a dropship item. It got to the point where every accessory on the Apple Watch side now on this on Amazon is now a dropship item. And it's very stretchy. That's one thing I noticed. It's using plastic, connector ports, aluminum right here, and that's basically it. It's not Apple quality. It's definitely noticeable that it's cheap. And I believe I spent like $10 for it for just one. I, something like this I feel like should have came with like four different colors to make it worth the value. And you do have to measure your wrist before you purchase this or else you're going to get the wrong one. And I think I got the wrong one. I used the measurements too. Oh, that is tight. Wait, but I think once it's on my wrist, it could be comfortable. Okay, so it fits me. It's a bit on the tight side, but it's not loose or anything like that. I think I could work out with this comfortably. So it's a solid loop band. It's not bad. I like it. It does feel cheap. It's, let me go grab an actual... Alibaba one. So here's an actual Alibaba one that I purchased for like 50 cents or something like that or a dollar in total to ship it out. And here's the connector ports. So this one that I got from Alibaba feels better than this one. But this one needs to be stretchy. But just look at the grooving, the indents. It's not as deep as the original one. The, as the one from Alibaba. This seller was better. But here it is comparing it against an actual Apple Watch band from Apple. So it's not too far apart. From this one from Alibaba, actually, this pops out a bit more higher than this one we just got from Amazon. For this price, it's not a good deal. It, this feels cheap, but for its function and stuff like that, it works, but it's only a matter of time when this will actually snap, I feel. It, it feels cheap. I think you're better off going Alibaba or going on eBay and look for like those value pack ones for $5. This doesn't feel premium. It's clearly a drop ship item based off the packaging. So because of that, I'm not going to recommend this. It's it's trash for a desk and price. And just like that, that is all the cool accessories we were able to find on today's video live stream. If you missed the live stream, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to continue doing these. Just make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss the next one. As well as ding that bell icon to receive notifications when we go live. If you missed the previous video of the Apple Watch Ultra where I feature my new favorite Apple Watch band of all time, check it out right over there. And links to everything, of course, will be in the video description down below. So they're all literally a click away. If you have a suggestion, or a comment that you'd like to suggest to us about a product for us to look for accessories for or accessory for the Apple Watch you want us to check out, feel free to also comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.